welcome to this week's Getting Crafty with Cragen. So this week we're going to make book folded turkeys just in time for Thanksgiving. It'll be a cool centerpiece for your Thanksgiving table um, or just a cool decoration to have around your house for the festive season. So let's take a look and see what we got in the bag. Alright, so we've got two books. We're going to use those. And then we've also got this turkey cut out. Um, so this is what the bag contents are. You will need at home a ruler or a straight edge, uh, a box cutter, scissors, a pencil, uh, a glue gun, as well as some tape. So let's get crafty. Okay, so we're gonna take a ruler and a box cutter and a pencil. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna Take your ruler, kind of figure out where the halfway point is um, in your book. And this might be a different book from the other book because I might have accidentally not recorded the segment and I'm having to re-record. Uh, but it's okay, accidents happen. So we'll say this is like halfway right there, right? So we're then gonna just do that. Try and get it as straight as possible. If it's not completely straight, it's all good. Because, you know, cool crafty stuff isn't always perfect. It is the flaws that make life beautiful. Alright, so then we're going to cut this out. And these will go to the side. And you will just keep cutting these out. You're going to go all the way through to the bottom of the book. Whoops. And if you need to use the ruler as a guide so you don't accidentally cut uh, wonky like I just did, feel free. Uh, at some point, the pages will be their own guide. Um, so yeah, so you just keep doing that. You go all the way down to the bottom. Just keep taking them out. And it's okay if it ends up being a little uneven um, because you'll see that it won't really matter with the finished result. Okay, so, next step after this. Okay, so for this next part, all we're going to do is fold the rest of the pages that we have in here. So, and this is going to be the body of the turkey, or the front part of the turkey. Um, we'll add the feathers in a little bit later. So, you just want to fold it, like so, and you just move on to the next page, and you just do that all the way through the book. Okay, so we've folded our book pages, and so we have this nice, like, awesome feathery turkey body. Um, we are going to work on the back feathers now that will go in this area. So it's okay if you look, you can see that, like, some of the stuff is not quite, like, even or it's a little rough. It doesn't matter because we're going to glue the feathers to the back here. So let's just put this off to the side. So the second book that we got, um, you're going to, and I went ahead and did this. Um, cut out the um, the binding so you're just gonna rip pages out of this one and we're gonna roll these up and these are gonna be um, the feathers uh, that will get glued in the back so you don't have to do the entire book but you will need to do several pages um, and it could be the situation where you rip out a bunch and it turns out it's not enough, or you rip out a bunch and it turns out it's too much. So we won't know until we finish. Okay, so for our next step, we're going to take those pages that we tore out. And you're going to take a little, you're going to fold it in half, just a little bit. Just a little bit of a crease right there. Um, and then you're going to take your fingers and you're going to go to the fold and then you'll wrap around. And this, this can be a little tricky, but then you have like this little cone, that is your feathers. Um, and you take some tape, and you tape it, and you're good to go. Put a little bit more right there. So, and you'll just keep doing that. Um, you can do as many feathers in the back as you want. 
Um, you can do two rows, you can do three. It just depends on how full you want to make it. Um, so I will leave that up to you. I think we're probably going to do about two. For this video's purposes. Okay, so we've made a bunch of feathers. Woohoo! And now we're going to take those feathers and glue them back here. So this part's pretty easy. Uh, be careful if you're like me and you accidentally burn yourself on things because uh, you can burn yourself on the hot glue gun. So be careful. Uh, so yeah, so we're just going to take some glue, put some edge right there, and then we're going to uh, just put some right here. There we go. Stick in there. Just like that. So yeah, we're just gonna do that. Oops. And just kind of let them fit in however you can stick them in. Okay, so now we have our finished turkey. Uh, we put two rows of feathers in the back, but if you want to go whole ham and do three, knock yourself out. It's whatever you want to do. Um, this is what I wanted to do. So, and then I cut out my little turkey head that was also in your bag, and then we'll just put it right here. And bam! We have a book full of turkey. How cool is that? Uh, so yeah, so if you're looking for this Take It and Make It kit, it's uh, upstairs in the adult circulation department and they will hand you a bag and we will have this on display for other people to see. So uh, this has been Get Crafty with Mary, and, or excuse me, Get Crafty with Cragen, and I will see you next month.